His teachers were translators. Did y'all get a cross measurement? We process things and share things in a way that, that somebody wants to learn about them and can get into it. You do a lot of hands-on stuff and not a lot of worksheets, but you learn a lot more. We have a natural uh, restored prairie area. We have some rainwater runoff systems that uh, support our ponds. When my son was in fifth grade, which is two years ago, Trevor got this grant to build a rainwater collection structure. Every member of the class did their own design and then actually built scale models of it. And then he had them actually do testing, you know, out in the schoolyard with a rainwater simulation to see how they caught water. They're learning how to take that math that is making sense to them on paper and put it into practice and see the results in the science side. And from there, we can calculate a gross area that we'll then use to calculate the volume of soil that we would need. If we're They're learning the curriculum that is required by the state of Texas in math, science, social studies. At the same time, you see their eyes light up and the smiles on their faces. That tells you that something's going right. He lets us have all these power tools, and like we made birdhouses. And I think it's kind of fun to show my brothers that I can make a birdhouse and they can't. All right, so next to your tables, go ahead and get your tools out. You the kids are rebuilding 50 bikes that we will donate to the kids on our campus that need a bicycle. We'll use them in our PE department to teach kids how to ride bikes, and then we'll donate the rest out to communities and people that need them. And those people who don't have bikes, they can now ride them to school, and it's burning calories instead of fossil fuels. I think you'll do great. The more we can connect them with the ground under their feet, the more security and safety they'll have in themselves, and the more that they'll realize that, that their voice is, is the voice of tomorrow's Texas. He says he doesn't teach. No riding without a helmet. He just gives us things and we try and figure it out. And if we need help, he comes over and gives us a push. I've never had a teacher as great as Mr. Hans. They come here to learn. They believe in themselves. They gain confidence. And I just, I love them. And it's, I wouldn't do anything else. <laughs>